What's up guys? Andrew checking back in here. Um, I apologize, I got my headphones on and I'm in a casino right now. But I wanted to film this video um, as a follow-up to the last two videos that I posted. I've gotten an insane amount of people who have reached out from the two videos that I already posted. Uh, just letting me know how much it helped them and and really just telling me that they feel like, holy shit, I'm not the only one out there that's gone through this. And, um, so I just wanted to post on here because in the past two videos, I've left my number down below and I just almost haven't even been able to keep up with some of the, the texts over the past few days. So I'm just posting this video again um, or I'm following up with another video again to um, kind of just go over some of the things that I've uh, become aware of and, and have been reminded of as I've talked to a lot of you guys from my videos and uh, talk, to you, talk to those of you who have reached out to me. Um, and it's really this, you know, I, I feel like the threshold for the people who can relate to the videos that I'm posting is that they've gotten to a point with drinking these feel freeze where they don't enjoy they're, they're, they don't even enjoy the feeling that they get from these feel frees anymore. Uh, but more so, they feel like shit when they don't drink them. But when they do drink them, it's not even gratifying anymore. So it's like they're stuck in this shitty situation where they can't go without them, but they feel like shit about themselves and um, just the feeling that these feel frees are giving them after taking them for so long and I've noticed this even with people who have been taking two to three a day for a year six months and I've noticed this with people who are taking eight to twelve a day you know for a short amount of time obviously that has more of a toll on your physical health but the commonality I've I've realized in talking with all of you guys is that you don't enjoy the feeling these things are giving you anymore and you also can't go without them because you go into withdrawals and that's a scary process. Um, and you're really just kind of, you just feel, you just feel stuck. And, you know, I've talked to a few people in the last three weeks and I've been able to talk to two people as they've gone cold turkey. One that was a little bit more of a severe case where he was drinking 8 to 12. He was able to go cold turkey while I was talking to him and it's just been really gratifying. And so I want to just again reach out to you guys, continue to post this, these videos and kind of act as just like a source for you guys to lean on. And for those of you who are ready to get off of it, uh, just kind of be there to, to talk you through it and let you know what to expect and kind of just give you some moral support along the way. Again, I can't do it for you. You're the one that needs to do the work if you want to get off these things for good but I can at least be there to support you through the journey and be there to talk to you as you go through this. So I'm gonna leave my number down below. I'm posting this video right now because I've been MIA the past three days and a bunch of people have reached out to me. I'm working, in a, I'm working in an event in Vegas right now. And uh, I just wanted to post this here. I'm gonna share what I've come up with based on the conversations that I've been having with you guys is that you're not enjoying the feeling you're getting from these feel freeze anymore. And you're also stuck because you feel like you need to withdrawals when you don't have, have them. So you're really just stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. And you know, I get it and you guys can get through it and I want to be there to support you. So I'll leave my number again. You guys can reach out and I hope to talk to some of you guys.